This video is a search on the mathematics of quantum mechanics. So if you haven't watched the previous one about quantum states, make sure to go check it out. Before moving to quantum measurements, I want to talk more about bracket notation, because understanding the maths behind it is keen to understanding other topics further on. Let's go back to our familiar vector Psi. In bracket notation, the vectors here, Psi, 0 and 1, are all cats. To understand what a bra is, we're going to write Psi in matrix notation as a column vector. To get the bra version, we just need to take the complex conjugate, and we get a root vector in which the original coefficients are conjugated. Now, writing a bra using bracket notation is simply changing 0 and 1 to bra and conjugating the coefficients. Now, it is time for the motivation for bracket notation. What happens when we have a bra and a cat together? We have already seen Psi many times, but Phi is a new one. Let's use Gamma and Delta for its coefficients. Like before, a bra and a cat together are easy to understand using matrix notation. Since bra is a row vector and cat is a column vector, the result of a bra and a cat together is just a complex number. And this expression might be familiar. This is the inner product of these two vectors. That's it, really. Bracket notation is a convenient way to write inner products, and in future videos, it will be used to write other operations conveniently. If you've been watching this series so far, you might be wondering, this is great, but how is all of this used? Where are the examples? Well, dear viewer, if you're thinking this, I got you. I'll do a pause on the series for now, and the rest of the video will be for us to see bracket notation in action. Let's start with the brackets of 0 and 1. Try to think of what the answer might be before continuing to watch. Now that you've thought about the answer, let's remember that we saw the matrix representation of these two states in the previous video. Since the coefficients are real numbers, conjugate does nothing to them, so the inner product is the usual dot product of the real plane. For bra 0 and cat 0, we multiply the top number, 1 and 1, and we add the result of multiplying the bottom number, 0 and 0, and we get that the value of the inner product is 1. The exact process applies to the other three cases. Multiply the top numbers, then multiply the bottom numbers, and finally, add them all together. For the case of the bracket of 0, 1, and the bracket of 1, 0, we'll find that the inner product is 0, and for the bracket of 1, 1, the result is 1. This lines up with what we know about the two vectors being orthogonal. Now let's go back to Psi and Phi. We will now calculate their bracket without using matrix notation. First, we'll write them as if we were multiplying them. The next step we need to do is to just use the distributive law. We get alpha 0 with gamma 0, alpha 0 with delta 1, beta 1 with gamma 0, and beta 1 with delta 1. Now, using our previous example, we know that the only non-zero brackets are 0, 0 and 1, 1. And we get precisely the same equation we got when using matrix representation. There are more examples we could do, but to stay true to the ways of mathematics, they'll be left as an exercise for the viewer. Do not be afraid. They are simple exercises, and I will post the answer on Twitter throughout the week, so don't be scared to give them a go. The first one is that the bracket of a state with itself is always 1. The second is that the state plus and minus are also orthogonal, so the brackets follow the same rule for 0 and 1 that we saw before. Finally, the last exercise. For a cat psi, if we do the brow of 0 or the brow of 1, we get the first and second coefficients respectively. We are not done yet with bracket notation. In reality, Cats are states, and bras are functions, and we'll cover that in a future video. So make sure to like this one and subscribe to the channel. 